I think I took a shit in my neighbor's uh, lawn. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I love you, Matty D, and I need you, Matty D. Why did you leave me here without your love? Oh, bro, I'm hurting. Thanks, dude. Yeah. It's pretty good, man, honestly, the liquid death. Yeah. It's a little intense for me. And, every, and it's something with death on it, I'm like... Yeah, it is pretty, like, hyped. It's pretty hyped up. <laughs> like, yeah, if, like, I, like, got, like, a sickness or something from it, like... You have, like, in the past? No, 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 but, like, uh, if I did, because I'm always worrying, like... And I told someone, like, I drank something with death in it. Uh huh. If I told my mother, yeah, yeah. she'd be like, well, why? Yeah, did like you an know? older woman or something. Yeah. I'd be like, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah. An older Jewish woman. Why did you? What do you think it? you would name, like, your own water brand if you had it? <clears throat> Probably just like, um, hey, hey, guy. Really? Just, yeah. It's pretty peaceful, man. Yeah. <laughs> it, water. Probably be, like, confusing, though, dude. Cause yeah. You, you know, people would be like, hey, can I get a hey guy? Yeah. You know? <laughs> that is kind of like, that's a cool name though, dude. Yeah. That'd be There's cool some... if like there weren't like uh, legality issues with like naming products. Yeah. Is there already a hey guy water? No, but if like I named a water company. Yeah. It should be like fucking Boner Farts. Boner Farts. Yeah. <laughs> Boner Farts LLC. Okay. You could probably start that. You think so? Yeah. 100%. That'd be fucking sick, dude. Yeah. You know? Owner for ourselves. Like a water company, though? I don't know if you could put it in, like, 7-Eleven, but, like, yeah. I think you could, like, totally... Well, I'm just saying, if you could make, <clears throat> like, if there, if, there, if there was actual, like, freedom of fucking anal and shit. Because, mm -hmm. like, obviously you can't, like, name a company, like, anything immature, but... Yeah. If you could... Yeah. Like, the way the world would fucking... Yeah. You know? Freedom of fucking the world, anal. Man, you know? <laughs> Yeah, that should be the 28th Amendment, freedom of fucking anal. Yeah, I've always wanted to meet a guy who, like, has, like, a fucked up job. Mm -hmm. Like, imagine meeting a dude who owns, like a, like, a dildo company or something. Yeah. And just makes bank. Yeah. You ever, met, you ever met one of those guys? No, but I'll read about him. Yeah. Like, I'll read about, like, uh, there's this dude who <laughs> started, like, he started the Blacked brand, like, the porn... It's like a Jewish dude, like a fat Jewish dude. Looks oh, like, like the me. genre? No, like the porn company. Like it started out as it's like, like only black dudes, though. Yeah, but it's a Jewish guy. It's just really? like a fat he Jewish started? French guy. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. And so, you know. You can be Jewish and French. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, man. yeah. You can be Jewish in just about anything. It's crazy, honestly. dude. Yeah. Never met like a French Jew. Really? Yeah. I think I've met like one or two. There's a few. Well, I heard French people kind of suck, right? Yeah, they they hate Jews, but yeah. like they they there used to be a lot of French Jews. Yeah, I heard like French people just smell like fucking nuts. Yeah, I was just over there. Really? Yeah, I was there in May. What did it smell like? Just like cheeses and nuts, <laughs> just <laughs> testicles. Just like dick cheese. Dick cheese. Did yeah. you bring it up? You don't want to be like too rude because then they <laughs> just be like, I mean, it Say would be funny if that was the only thing you knew how to say in French. <laughs> it's like, yo, it smells like dick cheese. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, the, the dick cheese is safe. It is my taxi. What do you do? You think they would be offended? Like, do they get offended easily or no? Oh, yeah. Dude, For real? have you ever seen a French person get offended? It's no. like the original person to like, because like French people are kind of gay. Like, they're really? Like, yeah. They're yeah. like, they're like the original like people who got offended. Holy shit! Yeah, they're like the original Karens. If you see, yeah, like if you see like a French person get offended, like, holy shit! Yeah, it's awesome. What is it like though? You're just through. like, oh, this chicken kind of little rub. Oh, yeah. a lot of food. Uh, shit, bon, say chicken. So it's a lot of like restaurant shit. Yeah, like they love they want everything to be nice. Yeah. They want everything to like look good. You know, hot Damn. people, no Jews. You know? Yeah. Fuck, man. Food good. Yeah. 
tits. I wonder if tight. they like. Uh, I wonder if they started the whole gay movement. Yeah, yeah. Filled up like a few boats. Yeah. After like World War II or something, just yeah. sent them over here. <laughs> so, That'd be crazy. It sounds dude. like my great grandfather's fucking <laughs> <laughs> theory about the French. Really? Yeah. Just fucking. He has the same theory. He, uh, my great grandpa was actually stationed in in France uh, during which, the which World the War Two. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he uh, worked at the uh, post office. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Does he ever talk about it? No, he's dead now. But he, my dad oh. was like, yeah, he hated the French. Probably. Because of the war or just in general? Yeah, because like they just like gave up immediately. Yeah. Like they just. Were like, they lost in both world wars, right? I think they won in one. And then in two, they just were like. I thought it was back to back losses. No, I think they. Didn't they win in World War One? I don't think so, yeah. man. No? No, because everyone always brings it up. No, two they bring up. Really? <laughs> where are you where they bring this <laughs> up? <laughs> Fucking, you know. <laughs> yeah. Just coffee shop. So like what was uh what were the women like in, in France, dude? I'm sure I mean they they have pretty hot chicks, you know. I when think. you were walking around you see like a lot of beautiful women or? Oh yeah, like um yeah, there was there was some good ones. But it, you know, it's kinda like Brooklyn, like Paris is a little like Brooklyn where it's like Yeah, know, it's a little like tatted up chicks and like you know a lot of creativity out a lot there of creativity yeah paris is like the og yeah. creativity place it's interesting dude yeah i didn't even know that man yeah so it's basically just like brooklyn <laughs> you basically went to brooklyn dude. no but it's like nice though brooklyn's kind of you know yeah well i heard the food's nicer in europe because it's yeah. like you can eat as much as you want like they don't have like a lot of like sugar in their food and shit yeah the food tastes like i have a lot of digestive issues but like uh in Europe, I could just eat a lot. Really? And, like, without, like, issues. I wonder what it is. I don't know if it's, like, gluten or something or, like, the... I, I don't know. It just tastes... Like, it's less processed, I feel like. Yeah. Or something. Somebody was saying they went there and had, like, a shit ton of bread and, like, didn't fucking yeah. shit their pants or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. I've been ripping fucking heaters, dude. Oh, yeah? Like, dimes. Oh, yeah, you me know? too. I've jacked up, like, my protein intake. Okay. I feel like a fucking... I don't even know, dude. Sometimes I fantasize about like someone walking in when I rip one. Really? Just like, like a man or a woman. Woman. Yeah. Just like. Just like upset with you. Like so mad. Yeah. How mad are you at me? Yeah. That'd be pretty. <laughs> I ripped one in the, like the break room today. Really? And I was like, man, this you is like proud be of bad. yourself. <laughs> no, well, I'm never proud of myself. <laughs> Like I deserve it. Yeah. One time I got a sonogram. You ever get one of those? Like for pregnant women? No. But like they'll just look at your intestines. Why'd you get one? Because I have like IBS. And uh the woman was kind of roasting me. For real? Yeah, she was like So you just shit a lot? No, it's the opposite one. It's the constipation one. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. It sucks. Fuck, dude. Yeah, it's the opposite. You know, Grant Grant has like IBS diarrhea one. I don't even know that, and yeah. I'm going to talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and my dad has that, too. But yeah. I just have the one where I'm just back the fuck up like it's a fucking BQE at rush hour. Which one would you rather have? I mean, you, you always fantasize about, you know, what you don't have. Yeah. Right? So, I, you know, I'd rather... Because I feel like you get out of a lot of, like, a lot of situations with the other one. Yeah. Just be like, yo, I'm about to shit in my fucking pants. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I wish, I wish, man. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. I've been ripping fucking dimes, dude. And I'm not going to lie, dude. I kind of get chubbed up when I rip like a good fart. Really? Yeah. Not like a full erection, but like a quarter chub. Wow. Yeah. Are you doing like no fap or? No, dude. I'm no. fapping relentlessly. <laughs> relentlessly. And but I just do? feel like it's like a sense of pride where I'm like. Wow. Because I'll eat like eggs and like beef and yeah. then have like a protein shake. Yeah. And just absolutely like rip into another dimension. Wow. <laughs> And I can feel like. Do you think that's how you would enter another dimension with the fart first? Dude, imagine if I like broke the simulation <laughs> from that. It'd be fucking crazy. I dude. get it now. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it some, makes like, sense. It's like some Asian dude behind a computer. <laughs> you know? That's where you go? Like, that's the simulation. Oh, you think we're being played by an Asian guy? I mean, if we are, I think it's like some Asian dude. Like, he's like. Have you seen an Asian guy at the computer recently? Dude, they fucking. No. I used to have a roommate who was Korean. Mm -hmm. 
play League of Legends eight hours straight. Yeah, I mean, Koreans are a little different, dude. Than Asians? I think so, yeah. Okay. You don't really hear much about the Koreans, man. Really? Yeah. I hear about them a lot. Dude, I actually went, uh, I actually talked to a Korean chick once. One time? Yeah, man. This was like four years ago. Uh-huh. And my podcast was like really struggling, kind of like it is now, but like okay. it was, it was even worse. <laughs> oh, this dude. is great, man. <clears throat> and this, uh, this Korean chick who I went to high school with, uh-huh. she was one of those chicks, dude, that like, she like kind of, she was like pretty ugly in high school. Mm-hmm. Not ugly, but kind of like a nerd. And like, you know, the nerds that kind of grow up to be like super hot. Like she was one of them, dude. Yeah. And she was Korean, bro. And, uh. She well. messaged me because she like saw a podcast clip or whatever. Mm-hmm. So we start talking, and uh, she literally was like, "Hey, I'm surprised like you haven't asked me." And I was like, "Asked you what?" And she was like, "About like my ethnicity." And I just go, I was like, "North or South?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she just never responded. <laughs> I thought, that's a classic. Yeah, that's a great. She did. She never <laughs> talked to me again. North was, like, or South? Yeah. But that's a good question, though, dude. Yeah, it is. You know, because it's a huge difference. Huge. Yeah. Like, create, like, just growing up in a fucking. You think you could date a North Korean chick? Yeah. Have you seen the one that went on Rogan? She's like the. Uh, huge knockers. Is she like the fucking refugee one? Yeah. They're all. They're all refugees. <laughs> What does that shit? What does she talk about? She like escapes hey, some like war camp or something? I don't know. I just get like fucking enticed. Just like yeah. hard ons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I never yeah. saw that episode, but I always see clips of it because I know it was like. Yeah. I heard it was like one of the best ones. Yeah. She was like, I was so scared. Yeah. I think she escaped like a fucking. Uh, yeah. Like a bang bus. A bang bus. <laughs> they kept like, jacking off on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine a bang bus in North Korea, dude. I've seen them in Japan. For you real? seen those videos? They have a bang bus in Japan? I don't think it's bang bus, but it's a bus. Yeah. It's and just like a it's fun. one one little lady. Really? Like 17 Japanese guys. Who's in the bus? Who's driving the bus? <laughs> it's just one black lady. <laughs> Y'all better sit down. Stop groping that lady. Oh, man. That's a big bus then, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, I saw a fucking, I saw a special needs bus peel out the other day. Short? No joke. Short, yeah, special needs bus. Oh, yeah. Why do they make them short for them? I think it's because there's not that many of them. Okay. You know, plus you have to know when they're approaching the building and shit. Yeah, you want to be near them. Yeah. <laughs> dude, this lady, no joke, middle of a four-way intersection, bro, peeled out like at least 10 feet. Made a skid mark and shit. Uh-huh. I was like, holy fuck. You know? Did she was driving the short bus? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. You got to imagine they're having a good time, though. Yeah. But that's crazy, man. A bang bus in Japan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, those some of those videos, mm-hmm. Japanese dudes, I'm like, they're the, the craziest. I've never person. seen any, to be honest. I think something happened with the atomic bomb where they just, they got radiation and then their sexuality is just like crazy. For real? Yeah, dude. They have some of the wildest videos I've ever seen in my life. Gotta check that out, man. <laughs> that sounds legit. <laughs> it's I know a lot of dudes who are like really into like uh, anime and shit. Yeah. To the point where they'll like ball their eyes out. Ball their oh at like Yeah, I knew a dude once who cried uh to like Naruto and shit. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I'm sure he's probably watching some of that stuff. <laughs> he just like you know? yeah. His eyes became X's. Yeah. So sad. Yeah, I've never even seen Naruto, dude, but I have yeah. these shorts. Got them at Walmart, dude. Whoa. Dude, five bucks. Wow. Yeah, they're in the clearance aisle. <laughs> you can find some good shit, Dude, man. I was in a Walmart in Ohio recently. Oh, just shit. Just doing some fucking, you know, recon. What are they doing over there? Dude, it's, <laughs> it's crazy. For real? It's like, put get the scooter, mm-hmm. fucking get the Mountain Dew. Yeah. Get the fucking Cleveland Browns jersey mm-hmm. and just fucking we're we're going to town, bro. That's why I fucking love Walmart, dude. <laughs> it's crazy. Cause like, dude, you'll be in the parking lot and you'll see like wild shit. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like some dude just like ghost rides a fucking cart into like a Mercedes, <laughs> like the alarm goes off. Yeah. <laughs> you go in, dude, and you just get the fucking best deals ever, man. Yeah. You know, so it's like kind of worth it in the end. Do you get one of those scooters? No. I, sometimes I don't know if they, do 
I don't even know if they have them anymore at the Walmart I go to. Oh, really? Yeah. They got they, them in Ohio. <clears throat> I feel like a lot of people have their own custom scooters now. Yeah. Dicked They're out. They're pimped out and shit, <laughs> you know? Imagine that pimp my ride. Yeah. Like, that's for fucking... Dude, that's fucked, that's man. True. How those people are so fucking fat. They can, like, walk to the scooter and then start using it. Yeah. Just fat fucking idiots, dude. <laughs> it's crazy. You just, like, see... It's it's crazy when you, like, see it, like, in the process. Like, yeah. what's their game plan for how they're going to get fatter? Bro, I've seen some fat dudes who, like, are fine. Like, they'll just walk to it. And mm-hmm. they're just, like, lazy as fuck. So they're like, all right, I'm just going to... Post up. Just gonna rip this, post up. Yeah. Have people feel bad for me and shit. (laughs) Yeah. You know? I see people like that all the time. Yeah. Where I go to the gym, there's like uh, one of those injury places. Mm -hmm. People like claim injury, but everyone outside looks fine. And they go in, they're like, fuck. You know? (laughs) My Mountain Dew won't open, man. (laughs) (laughs) Can y'all help uh, me open Code Red? Dude, I think that's a sickness, though. What? Where they're like, uh, they're just like addicted to that. Like that's their life. Yeah. It's just like basically like slip and falls and shit. Oh, you like they're to, just like addicted to like the empathy that they get from like the Yeah. You know? Well, they get the best parking spots. Yeah. Already. It's it's basically like those dudes in the ER. You ever see you ever go to the ER? You see those dudes who are like there every day? The ER. <laughs> What's the, the e- like the emergency room? Oh, the ER, yeah, yeah. Like if you've ever been and like there's always a dude who's like a regular there. <laughs> dude, regular. It's in pretty much every ER, dude. This dude who goes all the time. The and usual he'll, like, Tony. Fake his injury. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's like, I can't breathe. Oh, and they're okay. like, Well, your vitals are fine. And he's like, I fucking can't breathe. <laughs> it's like that dude just like in love with just like seeing tits and like getting nurtured. You know? <laughs> oh shit! You yeah. think he's getting to? The- I, I think he's going breathe. for the titties, dude. The only way I can breathe again yeah. is if I suck on a tit. <laughs> He's like, I only have one day left. Where's Shirley? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck those guys, man. One but. time I fucking, when I was like a kid, I like choked on a chicken finger. Mm-hmm. And like, I like freaked out. And like, I had to get an ambulance call on me. But it wasn't, I wasn't Shit. even bad. I just like burped. I remember I burped and the ERs were there. Yeah. And they were like, are you okay? And, and then I just burped. And I was like, actually, I'm fine. You guys could go. <laughs> <laughs> Did you feel like a pussy afterwards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My nerves are like, What's wrong with you? Damn, dude. I've, yeah. I've done that so many times. What? Just gone to the ER and been like, wow, I feel like a pussy right now. Yeah. I should have died. I should have died. You know? Be a man. I went for like, uh, what happened? Oh, dude, I was getting like stomach cramps mm-hmm. really bad. And I was at the gym with my friend. And I couldn't even walk, dude. I was like, holy shit. But it was because I ate a whole bag of fucking almonds, dude. And then I fucking chugged the Pedialyte oh. and all the sodium. I was already dehydrated. All the sodium, like, fucked me up, dude. Yeah. It's like four in the morning, dude. And I'm, like, fucking trying to rip ass and, like, trying to, like, get something out of me, dude. And, like... Oh, man. I'm in, like, so much pain, bro. And I yeah. just drove to the ER. And there were so many hot nurses, dude. Really? And they were so nice to me, dude. What's the address? Mm, well, it's in Rhode Island. Oh, shit. Uh, so you can drive there. <laughs> I mean, like, dude, I every say, every fucking ER has, like, hot chicks. I feel like that's not true in fucking Queens. <laughs> maybe. Maybe a little bit like Guatemalan chicks or something, you know? Yeah. They're there, man. <laughs> Probably not as much here, but... Yeah. Yeah, man, these chicks were just like... I forgot what they thought I had. I think it's, like, when your stomach fucking pops or some like bleeds out in your stomach or some shit oh my god that's my nightmare oh no they thought i had appendicitis oh shit yeah but i didn't you're like actually i just ripped a bag of fucking almonds yeah you want to see me do it i had like an infection in my intestine dude but i was hoping it was an uh, appendicitis you had an infection in your intestine yeah from eating nuts yeah from just being dehydrated and fucking i was at the gym just going hard as fuck dude you know oh shit Damn. Or they could have just been lying to me to just make me feel better. You know how they do that? <laughs> Did you say you used to have a truck with, like, flames on it? Yeah. Did you drive that to the ER? Mm. That would be sick. Maybe. I think <laughs> back then, up. yeah. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I went so hard. I parked by myself and walked in by myself, dude. 
<laughs> yeah, I think back then I would have had that that truck, dude, mm -hmm. for sure. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> mm. That's awesome, man. Yeah, dude. But why'd you uh, why'd you go to Europe though, dude? Oh, I just went with my family. Oh, yeah. for real? Yeah, I went with my family. You went with the boys? Well, two ladies and <laughs> two boys. Yeah. 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 Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. And then I went. Well, they let, went back, and then I went. To, <laughs> what? <laughs> My bad, dude. No, it's fine. Uh, I just have a family full of boys. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I was just thinking about like wicked fucked up shit when you said that. Oh, really? Like family uh, vacay. Oh shit. You know, like a porno. Yeah, just like a porno, dude. My bad. You gotta watch these Japanese ones. I think you're gonna really like them. Yeah. That's throw they have up, to pixelate. Throw it up on the projector, dude. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of that family vacay stuff, dude. Oh yeah, yeah, it's not good, man. I don't, I don't think I've seen that. Yeah, it's just like some dude's stepmom comes in with like fucking like I can't believe it's not butter. Starts okay. like throwing it on the walls and shit. <laughs> just like whips out her tits, and you're like, holy shit. Whoa. Yeah. She's like, I'm gonna clean this mess up. Yeah. He's like, you're my stepmom. <laughs> We can't do this. <laughs> Cut. You have to do it. <laughs> yeah. Damn, bro. Yeah. You got a projector? Yeah, I got a projector a while you back. Host like screenings of <clears throat> just. No, I like to keep it to myself, man. Okay. <laughs> you know? All right. I feel like a dude. You should get one though. Honestly, it's like totally worth it. I want to. Yeah, eventually. Because um, I've, I've been watching like. Uh, I don't watch porn on my projector because mm -hmm. that would be fucking terrible. But why do you think that would be terrible? Uh, I mean, like, I don't really have internet. <laughs> <laughs> like, I have, an, I have an Xbox and shit, okay. but I don't have like a browser. You know? Oh. So. Okay. Um, that's the biggest thing. Also, like, when you have like surround sound. Yeah. If I'm not really like <laughs> conscious of the volume. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dave told me <laughs> he'd just be blasting cod. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I don't even know like my surround sounds on because I get the headphones yeah. on. It just sounds like fucking World War II, dude. But Hell yeah, man, yeah. dude, projectors are fucking sick and they're pretty cheap, man. Oh, yeah. You can get just like a 4K one, dude, and mm -hmm. watch like Planet Earth, dude. If you watch a good movie on that, man, have a fucking movie night, dude. Just invite the guys over. Japanese bang bus, yeah. dude. <laughs> Fucking jerk each other off, dude. That'd be crazy, man. Dude, if you were with a bunch of dudes and like you were watching Japanese bang bus <laughs> and like one of your boys was like, yo, you trying to J me off? <laughs> J me off. <laughs> you think you would do it? I think um, uh, up to the point where he was like, you're trying to J yeah. me off. Have you Especially ever thought about what you would do if like one of your boys kind of like got a little gay? I uh, yeah, I know <laughs> gay people. No, I'm saying dudes who you like thought were straight. Thought were straight. Okay. So like you're, because I've never even thought about that, dude. Oh but yeah. But I've heard it happen multiple times. What do you mean? Like dudes who are just like they identify as straight. Okay. You know, you'll hear stories about like a sleepover or something where like dudes are just jerking each other off, <laughs> like straight dudes, just for fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. For, for sure. And I'm just trying to think of like what would lead into that. Like, are you playing like Naked Twister or something? Like, what led to that? Yeah, like the the elephant game. You've seen like the fucking the frat hazing where yeah. they like fucking. Yeah, yeah, but it's not even like you're not even getting anything out of it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> what would lead up to that? Because like back in the day, I feel like if a dude did something gay to me, I'd be like, "What the fuck?" Okay. But like nowadays, you kind of be like, you got to be more mature, you know? Yeah. Just be like, I'm not gay, dude. Just what? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Six years ago, I'd be like, "What the fuck? Get out of my fucking yard!" <laughs> No. What is he doing in your yard? <laughs> he's just like he's just fucking soliciting. He's, yeah. He's like soliciting. He's using you just the assume hose. he's gay. He's using the hose. <laughs> <laughs> he's using the hose the wrong way. <laughs> he's shooting it in his ass. Uh, just like some guy selling solar panels and you just like assume he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not fucking gay. <laughs> Get my energy from a coal mine. Yeah. Like a fucking man. <laughs> Dude. That uh, is kind of funny, though, to just assume someone's gay. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
The Fios guy. <laughs> He's like, do you want to save $60 a month? And you're like, dude, I'm not getting it. <laughs> Why don't you get the fuck out of here, man? Yeah. You see fucking Frasier posters in my fucking room, dude? No. I don't but want uh, you to I grew up me. down the road from a dude who, uh, <clears throat> I was like best friends with him for a while, man. And he's, uh, I believe he's a homosexual. How like close? he's a homosexual now. He, like, grew into it. I don't think he... Uh, had, but then I think back, and I think about some of the shit we used to do, and I'm like, he could have been... He was your age? Yeah. So you guys... Dude, we used to jump off his pool deck and pull our pants down in front of his mom, like, midair, and just, like, flash our dicks at her. Oh, it's her mom. Yeah. That'd be funny if it was your dad. <laughs> yeah. Her, his mom was so hot, dude. Oh, She really? would just watch us. Yeah. And we would just show our dicks to each other in the pool and shit. Just to each other, like underwater? Yeah, like he would dive down and just like whip out his cock. Oh, shit. I mean, we were like fucking nine, So he dude. would do it first? I think so. Could and have then, been me, though, dude. And then you were like, respectfully. <laughs> yeah. He's like, dude, why are you hard? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. Remind me of this solar panel guy. Yeah. I just, I always wonder why his mom was kind of like watching us do it, though. Whoa. You know, it was like she, like, she into this. She you know? didn't say, my mom would have been like, hey, stop that. <laughs> yeah, <it's weird. laughs> One time I showed my dick to the handyman when I was like, my handicap man? No. <laughs> <laughs> handicap handyman. <laughs> Wait, you, sh you showed your dick to him? Yeah, who? I was like, his name was uh, like, like Howie or something. And I was He's just like, like a eight carpenter? years old. Yeah, we had a handyman, like a guy who just fixed shit. My dad couldn't. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're pretty casual about it, dude. What do you mean? I thought you were talking about like a handicapped person. No, no, no. Like, like at like a fucking Lowe's or something? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting in the handicaps. <laughs> this is where they park, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here comes one. Yeah. Just whip it out. <laughs> he falls out of his wheelchair. Why'd you show your dick to a fucking carpenter? <laughs> just dude? a guy with a mustache. Yeah. I don't know, dude. I think really? I just was just like, yeah. I just wanted to be like kind of funny, I guess. That is funny, man. Yeah. There's really a lot that's funny about that. Back then, dude, like whipping out your cock was like one of the funniest things you could do. Yeah. Nobody even th like thought for a second it was gay either. Yeah. yeah. I, I had no like knowledge of that being gay. Like I was like maybe <clears throat> eight years old. If someone explained to me what gay was, I would be like, eh. Yeah. You know what's confusing, dude, is like, uh, remember when you used to take a piss at the urinal and like some dude would stare at your piece? Yeah. And like kind of judge what you got going on? That still all happened, I think. It's like, dude, what are you, like, <laughs> what are you gay? Like, why are we judging flaccid cocks? Yeah. You know what I mean? I thought you were going to say like w when like somebody <laughs> would like pull their pants all the way down uh, and like school and shit. No. That was fine, man. That was fine. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was startling for me. Cause yeah. like that was like, whoa. I didn't know what that was. We had a few special it. needs kids who would do that. <clears throat> yeah, we had that and Asian kids would do it. Really? Yeah. Just, I didn't even know phew. that. We had a lot of special needs and I grew up in a lot of Asian heavily populated Asian. Where'd you grow up? New Jersey. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. A lot of Asian. You probably thought a lot of the um, Asian kids are special needs though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, we had was one chick. I always think about her because she would just run mm -hmm. to all her classes. Because I don't, I don't think they have a lot of like special needs kids in Asia, do they? No, I don't think so. Like, how would you even tell? <clears throat> exactly. You know, they just like get a math problem wrong. Yeah, that's true. You'd have to be in the classroom to it, figure it out. Yeah. Seen a fucking. Dude, seeing a special needs Asian would be sick, though. I think I've seen a few. What were they doing? Dude, this chick would just, like, run. Really? From class. She'd, like, sit down at her desk, uh -huh. pack up, run to her next class. <laughs> we're like, what the hell? Yeah. Like, she's not, there's no way she's late. It was yeah. just great, like. That's not even that bad, though, dude. Yeah. I thought you were going to say something else. Oh, okay. She's like selling Pokemon cards to like teachers and shit or something. 
No, that would be like a good business, I guess. Yeah. I would be all the Asian kids it. in my school, they had like the best Pokemon cards. Yeah. They get them straight from the this fucking... This kid had like an ancient Mew. Oh, There's shit. There's only like four of them in the world. There's like a legit one, too. Oh, shit. I was like, dude, you better put that away, man. Like, that's risky. Yeah. He's like whipping it out on the fucking playground and shit. Yeah. Like, dude, somebody could come here and fucking kill you. Yeah, show me your dick instead. <laughs> Yeah, Asian cocks are fucking wild, bro. Dude, I went back to my uh, gym recently in my hometown. Yeah. Old dude's just fucking, just walking around naked. Really? The little fucking, it's so true. It's, it's crazy how it gets that small, man. <clears throat> you know? I, that's what I said to him. I said, it's crazy. As he walked by You're me. talking about Asian dudes or just New Jersey people? Asian dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just Jersey guy. Yeah. I don't know, man. Like, there's a lot of small cocks out there, and it's like, dude, if I, I don't think I'll get that small, but if I do, I'm just gonna like jerk off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm gonna get hard before I take it out. Yeah. <clears throat> I probably just, if my cock ever got that small, I'd, I'd just do like full Asian face. Like, I would only dress in kimonos and shit. Like a Komodo dragon. Yeah, I would have a <laughs> Komodo dragon. I would bring around. Just going into locker rooms like that, dude. Yeah. That'd be fucking sick, man. He'll bite you. Yeah. Dude, if you dressed up as a Komodo dragon and <laughs> went into an open shower. Yeah. Started taking out people's legs. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, we should do that. Get like a camera crew and shit. Yeah. Get a camera crew. <laughs> All right. Like, yo, watch the fuck out. You know? Yeah. <clears throat> Didn't say it said no pets, but didn't say no dragons. Yeah, Komodo yeah. dragons are fucking sick. Yeah, you ever see that uh, documentary on Netflix? About I've seen a lot of the one with the Komodo there. dragons. There's a lot of really. Yeah, I've been There's, watching Chimp Crazy. It's okay. New. Yeah. Is that new? Yeah, yeah. It's about chimps. Is it good? Ch- yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. Fuck man, I gotta check that out. I get emotional though. Dude. I was watching one of the Planet Earths. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's like one of the iguanas, dude. It's like a family of iguanas, dude, and they all get taken out by, like, these snakes. I've seen that clip, yeah. And then yeah, that yeah. one gets away, and you're yeah. just, like, legit, like, I'm just, like, in tears, man. I'm like, yeah. dude, you better fucking get away, you know? <laughs> That's just like and Then me. the snake wraps him up, dude, and he, find, he like, gets out. Like, yeah, Holy shit, that. dude. It's like a Barry Sanders run. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, fucking, man. Yeah. Such an emotional roller coaster. Yeah. It's like, I can't keep doing this. Do you feel like that, that, that you're, like, the iguana? Bro, I saw a fucking you should you watch Netflix? Yeah. <clears throat> Dude. In between Japanese I think it was Bengals. called uh it's called like the Backwoods or something. Mm-hmm. It's with that girl from uh Stick It, the gym, gymnastics movie. You ever see that? No. If you haven't jerked off to that, dude, you're missing out. <laughs> it's a cute When you were grown when you were growing up, you never saw Stick It? No, no, no. Oh, it's a classic, dude. It's like a gymnastics movie. But yeah, there's a chick in this movie who was in that, <clears throat> and then uh, some other dude. And this guy just like takes his, uh, he takes his chick on a trip into the woods, and he's gonna propose to her, dude. But mm-hmm. dude, he gets eaten by a fucking bear, bro. And they show the bear eating him, and like I'm like, all right, watching like gruesome shit. Like I'm not that like, you know, yeah. affected by it. Something about this though, dude, just fucked me up so bad. I think it's because I thought they made it seem like it was kind of like a no- normal occurrence for a bear to do that. Where was he? Is it in the backwoods somewhere, dude? <laughs> like fucking. He's like about to. I get don't know him. what state it was in. It showed like the name of the park, and it said based on a true story. <clears throat> dude, so I'm like freaking out after this. Mm-hmm. I'm like, how like rare are like bear occurrences? Like, how often do bears eat people? Yeah. And it was like one in a million. Yeah. Yeah. Like two a year, maybe. Yeah. And it's only if you like fuck with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if you're in its fucking hood. Yeah. But yeah, dude, it fucked me up so bad. It showed the bear like eating like his fucking intestines and shit. Oh. <clears throat> I was like, holy fuck. What's this movie called? It's either Backwoods or The Backwoods. Oh, okay. It's a critically acclaimed movie. That's what oh. I've been doing, dude. I just go to the critically acclaimed movie section. Hey, check you out, man. They're all fucking good, man. Hell yeah. You know? You ever seen Grizzly Man? No. That's about a dude who like Is that a porno? <laughs> yeah, he fucks bears. <laughs> he fucks grizzly. He basically kind of does. Like, he really like falls in love with like grizzly bears. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. Fuck, man. But they don't show when he gets eaten. 
it, he like builds a relationship with him. Yeah, yeah. He, it's it's Werner Herzog movies. The guy, the German guy, who's like he passed away. No, he's he uh, he's still alive. He does. Well, he the drives. guy who like uh, built a relationship with the bears. Yeah, he got eaten by like a bear. He was close with. Yeah, he was close with like all of and it, and his wife got eaten. Holy shit! Yeah, they got eaten together. I think so. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's a good way to go out, man. It's you know? they're the old, they play the audio, bro. It's horrifying. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. It's, How'd they get it on audio? So he recorded everything. Why only audio though? They didn't get the video? I don't Or you think they just didn't publish it? I yeah, it was one of those like Blair Witch things like, where it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. it just happens off camera, I think. Yeah. You think they made up the audio or you think it's like real? Oh, he died. Yeah. He's dead. And and his fucking girlfriend or wife or whatever. Yeah, but do you think they like um like, you know, manufactured it. Like the audio. <laughs> just the audio. Just to yeah. make it seem like a little more. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> it's a <clears throat> hairy. Yeah, that shit fucks me up, dude. Something about bears, man. Yeah. Eating you. Yeah. Because it's just like, yeah, even in like chimps. You think about chimps like ripping chimps your face off scary. and shit, dude. I'm just like, fuck, man. Dude, in that doc, they go through like. This this one happened. This one uh, chimpanzee attack uh-huh. in Connecticut. Yeah, ripped this chick's hands straight from her body. Yeah, or they do that. And they like literally rip your, your arms off. Yeah, yeah. They like peel your skin off and shit. Yeah, <clears throat> they're fucking insane. Fuck man. Yeah. I wonder if they're related to like the devil or some shit. You know. You think we are? Because they're like ninety eight percent. Like I wonder why why they're us. so evil, dude. Well, they're ninety eight percent like us, dude. Yeah, which is like maybe people are evil too, bro. Mm. Shit. Is that, do they bring that up in the shit? What? How like similar we are? Like, do they bring that up a lot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. I'm gonna take a piss, dude. Then oh, we can no. uh, take some phone calls. <laughs> take some phone calls. Yeah, we get like phone calls in. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hey, John. Uh, this is uh This is Fitz here. Um, yeah, so I got a situation for you for you that I would love your uh your interpretation and your advice on. So basically like I'm in a fraternity, you know, and uh I'm one of the older members of the fraternity now. And so I have a girlfriend, you know. Uh but in my youth, um uh, a few years ago, when I was younger in the fraternity, uh I got with this chick. Uh and now she got with like a bunch of my fraternity brothers and she like makes it a point that like her first person she got with was uh, me. And she like brings it up in front of my girlfriend. She like brings it up in front of people. And like, it's not like a reason, like she's a good looking girl. Just like, it's the fact that she's like actively trying to embarrass my girlfriend, but she's like, she's always around. And like, she's friends with a lot of people in fraternity. I don't know how to bring it up. Like, hey, you guys stop doing that because you gotta have respect for my girlfriend who, is the only person who I'm with now, obviously. Um, so yeah, I, I would love some advice. Uh, yeah, um, thanks, John. I love it. He's acting like it's like a legitimate problem. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, I would kill to have that problem. I, I, dude, he's killing it. Just another girl being like, "Yeah, you know, I used to get with John." He Especially my, if it was like good. He was know? my first. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, his girlfriend's probably struggling, dude. Yeah. He should have mentioned, like, how it was, you know? Yeah. Because, like, if he was doing... Now all of his boys know, like, what that chick is... uh, What she's putting out, you know? Yeah. That's true. But I wonder if that other chick has, like, a specialty, you know? If she's serving up some, like, dessert and stuff, dude, you know? Licking gooch and sucking nips and shit, you know? Yeah. She's doing like crazy shit. It's kind of funny. The f- the first time she gets with that, you're talking about the first. <laughs> That'd yeah. be crazy to just come. The one who's the like game. hooking up with his other his bros. Oh okay. Yeah. I mean, oh okay. So she's hooking up, and then with... she's telling his girlfriend like, oh shit, that he was like the first one. Damn. Yeah, that's a. That's annoying. Yeah. I would. I feel like it's more of like a girl issue, you know. Yeah. Because <clears throat> girls are very like touchy about that. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. 
because then the girl is going to be like, oh, like his girlfriend's probably like, oh, like, what'd you guys do? Like, you know, <laughs> but I think around here, man, most people probably just have like an orgy, right? Oh, yeah. With with her. Like everyone. Everyone. <laughs> just invite everyone over. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Just to kind of see like what everyone's got in the tank. <laughs> just- <laughs> Yeah, maybe that's how you solve the problem. Just yeah. ha- suggest an orgy. <clears throat> Go to like an event planner and like get some like legitimate invitations. Ooh. Just invite everyone, dude. Next yeah, frat party, like an orgy. A gay event planner. Just <laughs> Yeah, dude, have like a blow bang. So you guys want a blow bang? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to get a big moon castle for the blow bang. I mean, dude, think about it though. Like if you got, if you were in a fraternity and you got an invite to a, an orgy, and yeah. Like you found out there's going to be a, a bouncy house and like classic rock and like yeah. pudding fights and shit. <sighs> I'm like, I'm going, dude. Pudding fights. Even knowing that some of my boys are going to be there. Yeah. I'll show cock, dude. Yeah. <laughs> show cock. <clears throat> I mean, I'm going to jerk off like six times before I show up, but like I'm going. Oh, shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> dude, I jack off once and it's like days over. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm, I'm a one shot guy. Really? But, like, if I knew I was going to have to perform uh-huh. <clears throat> late at night, dude, you know, in front of my boys, like, really put out, uh-huh. I'd, pro- I'd probably have nothing left in the tank. Yeah. You know? That's a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, like, soft. <laughs> Come on, Johnny. Yeah. You're the best, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. <clears throat> just, like, a little fucking chode. <laughs> So how do we solve this guy's <laughs> problem, dude? I'm telling you, dude, have an orgy. Bro. Have an orgy. <laughs> People talk, man, but are they going to show out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are they going to show their cock? Yeah. Or put, maybe put that in the invite. Hire a gay event planner to be like, I was with her or something. Mm. Or I was with him first, actually. You've never, like, uh, <clears throat> you've never done that, right? Like an orgy? No. I had a... I guess I paid for two prostitutes in Germany. Yeah, it's not. A threesome, but it wasn't an orgy. But you, had a th- you paid for a threesome? Yeah. Are they, like, okay with that out there? They want that so they can just, like, talk with their friend while they're doing it. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I've never even been... Uh, <clears throat> I've almost had a threesome once. Nice. I was hanging out with both of these chicks who had boyfriends. And, like, oh. I knew them. And we were, like, partying all night. And then they were like, oh, you should just come sleep at our place. Mm-hmm. And this chick, like, lived with her parents, dude. And I was like, you want me to sleep at, like, your parents' house? Yeah. And they were like, yes. Dude, so, like, her parents said it was okay for me to go over. And we were all just sleeping in the same bed. The parents, too. <laughs> dude. <laughs> I was, like, making out with her dad and shit. This guy fucking rocks. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> If I, like, went over, dude, and, like, they were like, all right, like, keep it down. <laughs> I just, like, sprint to the parents' room. <laughs> Where's your dad? <laughs> like, let me suck that cock. <laughs> let me suck the homeowner <laughs> off right now. Yeah. Fucking steal his fucking car and shit, dude. <laughs> oh, that's just Johnny comes over and fucks yeah. me and leaves. Yeah, dude, I know for a fact that I could have done it. I just didn't have the balls. Really? Yeah, because they both had boyfriends, dude, of which I knew. So you were actually, like, sleeping in the bed with Legitimately, them. like, in my boxers, dude, sleeping okay. with... This girl, like, straddled me, dude, and, like, tried, you know... I was Whoa. like, I can't do this. Because, like, I knew her boyfriend. Oh, <clears> shit. You know? Yeah. And you respected him. Yeah, I'm for yeah. the boys, man. You're for the boys. Yeah, I couldn't have done that, dude. That would have been fucked. I kind of wish I went back, though, and did it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you still yeah. hold the guys in the same regard? No. No. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I should have gone back. should have come back. <laughs> just gone all out, dude. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, this guy just needs to go all out because he doesn't realize, like, in a few years, man, like, you're not going to have the same girlfriend. Like, you're not even going to know those chicks, man. Yeah. Like, if I go, if I go back to college, bro, I would have literally just, like... Gone to orgies if the, if I ever got invited, man. I would have mm-hmm. like <clears throat> probably gotten like multiple STDs if I had the opportunity. Yeah, but I was just playing with my nuts, man. And yeah, I think about that all too. the time, man. I was at Starbucks, looking at hot chicks, just like listening to fucking landslide, dude. Feeling, <laughs> ba- feeling bad for myself, man. Yeah, yeah. 
But I think everybody who likes... I think we had similar college experiences. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> just getting no pussy, dude. Just hooking up with fat chicks, <laughs> you know? So, like, if I could go back, dude, I'd be shredding it, you Yeah. Know? I would be piping. 100%. I'd be piping as much as I can. Okay. Plus, yeah. dude, college chicks now are like bouncing around like it's fucking yeah. chunky cheese, dude. You know what I mean? No values anymore. Yeah, they're just, you know. Yeah. Like this, this dude's probably gonna get cheated on if he doesn't, you know. Yeah, do something or just something like yeah, go all out. Yeah. Just rip ass, maybe. Yeah, just first. fucking fart, dude. Just bang <laughs> chicks and then just. Oh move yeah, on. I was your first. Yeah. <laughs> Now you're talking, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's see what else we got, dude. <laughs> that is kind of funny though. He's like talking like it was like a legitimate issue. <laughs> Johnny said so I have this big problem <laughs> in my life. <laughs> Name's Fitz. Hey dude, so I just wanted your opinion on whether or not I fucked up. Uh so back when I was younger. I dated this girl that was like, you know, wife material, you know, for the most part, except for what I'm about to tell you. But anyway, she had huge tits, huge, awesome tits, a fat ass, like thick thighs, like, but was like in shape, uh, you know, and like put out, you know, she was hot. And, uh, anyway, um, after like i don't know like a a good bit into the relationship i caught her bro like eating her boogers man and it kind of just at the time it just like changed things for me and now you know i i'm looking back you know like a few years later after like you know dealing with uh you know just crazy bitches all the time and uh, I'm thinking to myself, like, damn, should I, should I have just lived with that and then just had this hot ass bitch to fuck, even though she ate her boogers? Um, <laughs> so I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know if I'm fucking, I don't know. But yeah, I'm just, did I fuck up by by splitting up with that, or should I have just like, this dude's hooking up with like special needs chicks. <laughs> Her helmet was sick. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> no, man, honestly, like some of these chicks you should send, they should send my way, honestly, man. Yeah. That's not a big deal at all. Hmm, I'm trying I want to wanna know, like, uh, yeah, man, I have so many questions, bro. Yeah. Like how often it's occurring. What type of boogers are we talking about, dude? Is it dude? in public or in private? Dude, I remember in elementary school, <clears throat> I like, uh, there was this chick that like everyone had a crush on mm -hmm. and her name was Brittany, dude. And we used to get in lines to go back into the building from recess, dude. So we're waiting in line, and this chick fucking sneezes like this. And then, like, all I saw was just, like, mounds of snot, bro. Oh, shit. And she just started fucking eating all of it, dude. <laughs> like, like a creature, dude. <laughs> what do you mean? Like... like eating Fork it like she knife? just like started going like licking it like oh, s shit. like slurping it up and shit it was so <laughs> dude it was so much boogers bro like it was so much snot man it was, was the she mo like enjoying it or was it yeah like, dude she was like really into she was, it like licking her there lips, were people like around dude i was watching the whole thing and i don't know man like that's you know but she was like everyone had a crush on her dude and I just knew, man, like, this chick's into, like, eating her boogers and shit. Oh, shit. And then I thought it was, like, a one-time thing. But, dude, I would eventually see her do it again. Not as big. Like, she'd get, like, little small ones. And, yeah, man, it's pretty common. Oh, God. Yeah. So this guy, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know if that's, like, a habit you break or you just, like, you know. I Yeah, I would kind of maybe, like, I mean, he really painted a picture of how hot she was. I mean, yeah. He also, I mean, he said she was a, a great woman, too, you know. <laughs> yeah. Part of me, dude, kind of feels like if you have, like, a great woman in your life, bro, yeah. especially guys like us, like, not trying to be a dick. Yeah. But these chicks are going to have, like, one big issue yeah, that you got to yeah. deal with. Let her know? eat the boogers. Yeah. Say, say bring if your she's friends She's doing around. everything else right. Just let her eat the boogers, man. Yeah. You know. <laughs> bring just, your friends around. Say, like, hey, yeah. she likes to. I mean, there's going to be something else. Yeah. You know. Something else. I don't know what, but 
Yeah. Like if she's doing everything else right, maybe kind of, maybe she should get back with her and be like, hey, I'm sorry. Like, yeah. What I did, was, what I did was fucked up. I don't care about your diet. Yeah. I don't really get it though. The whole like eating boogers thing. I, it's, I'm, you know, I'm not like a guy with like great habits, yeah. but I always drew the line. At, I don't. Yeah. I had a booger wall as a kid. Really? But I never. Just like a bunch of souvenirs and shit? Yeah. Wow. Like, wow, look at that. You never ate them, though. Never ate them. Yeah. That would be wild, dude. I'd if you taste started, them, but it was like, oh. Oh, man. Disgusting. You started licking the wall and shit? <laughs> dude. I would, they would have built a cage around my fucking. Yeah. Damn, I'm trying to think what I, I, I was, I still bite my nails. I still bite my nails. And too. I get deep into it, dude. Oh, yeah, dude, my fucking like, fingers are yeah. fucked up, dude. I haven't stopped. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But, yeah, the boogers thing I never got, man. Yeah. I feel like all these guys are, like, with chicks, man, and I'm just, like, <laughs> playing with my nuts and shit, so. Okay, so I don't really know what kind of question I'm supposed to ask, but I got a finger in my butt last night, and that shit was, like, actually kind of life-changing. I'm not going to lie. Like, my whole life, I'd just been coming, but, like, I had an orgasm, and that shit was different, you know? Like, I don't know if I'd ever be able to do this shit normal again. But either way, either way, either way, that's not important. That's not important. My question is, would you do it, or are you, like, too scared, you know? Because, like, all my friends that I talk to about it, they're all, like, way too scared, and they're all, like, calling me a weirdo for it. But I'm like, nah, man, you just know you don't like it, and that's why you're not doing it. I don't know. I'm ranting. Much love. Hell yeah, dude. Thanks for being honest, man. Hell yeah. <clears throat> he said he got a finger up the... I don't know. I didn't realize he was talking about himself. He I thought like, he meant like another dude like uh, yeah. popped one in him. Oh, you know? so he he did it to himself. I thought he meant like... It sounded like he was saying he did it like while he was jaying off. Yeah. So now he's going to start doing that, like, uh, regularly. Yeah. You know? Man, but then you got to really, like, wash your hands and shit. Out yeah, there. dude, that's fucking gross, man. <laughs> you know? I I'm just, a big believer in, like, not going anywhere near my butthole, dude. Yeah. I kind of get what he's saying, though, dude. Because, like, like I said, dude, I've been ripping dimes. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting a little chubbed up from that. So That's interesting. Let me ask you this, dude. Yeah. Say you're with a hot chick, bro. Mm -hmm. She goes down on you, I'm loving and it. then goes right into Narnia, starts tearing it up. I'll let her go. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Let her, let her explore. And you're confident about that, like you're just like. Yeah, I'd be like, whoa! <laughs> All right, <laughs> this chick likes to take a hike in the yeah. forest. You know yeah, I, mean? I don't have that type of confidence, man. What do you mean? What do you? I just feel like I would immediately just be like, hey. Yeah. Get out of there. <laughs> Get out of my yard. <laughs> what do you think I am? What are you doing on my waters? <laughs> what you doing there? Yeah. I don't know, man. If she came out alive, that would be impressive. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you don't want her to like come out looking like she has Yeah, because I know for a fact, dude, if a chick went into my fucking Narnia, you yeah. know, for like a while. Yeah. I don't know, man. I think she might kill herself. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like the, I don't think like right then and there, but I think okay. like the next day, oh. you'd see it on the news. Really? You know what I mean? She was such a <clears throat> beautiful girl, yeah. but that would be fucked, dude. <laughs> Some chick who's like her fucking, you know, she has like bright future, just like yeah, kills herself because she ate some ass. Yeah, you know. <laughs> but I mean, that would be like one of the best reasons to commit suicide. Yeah. You know? That'd be a great true crime doc, too. Yeah. Everyone loved her in the town. But yeah, I guess this guy's just going to start, like, finger popping his ass on the rag, man. Ah, you don't want to be that guy, though. I, yeah. You, you don't want to be that doing it to yourself. This guy could be gay. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. And he seemed like he was a little fucked up and, like, struggling with it. Yeah. Which maybe, you know. Yeah, man. Maybe he just needs to, like, go out there and just figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take a take an online quiz or something. Oh yeah, you Buzzfeed. Know? Yeah, yeah. If you, yeah, I don't think you, I don't think you can finger your ass regularly and not be gay. Yeah, regularly. 
<laughs> yeah, just clocking in. Yeah. And he's, he sounds excited, too. He sounds like, you know. No, it's great. Yeah. He's, like, looking forward I'm to it. I'm doing it right now as we speak. Yeah. That's wild, man. At yeah. least he's proud about it, though. He was saying, like, he's, like, you know. There's no way I would have told my friends. Yeah, I don't think I would have told anyone that. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah, dude. That's fucking. <clears throat> All right, let's see if we got one more, dude. I imagine these are from, like, all, like, a Walmart parking lot. <laughs> Just clocking in. Let me call Johnny. Hey, man. Um, I got a kind of a strange question for you. I'm not too sure who to go to um, to ask it, but I was hoping to get your opinion on it. Uh, you know, recently I've had a pretty bad porn addiction. Uh, you know, every night just getting to it. And it's been taking me a while to find a good video. Uh, you know, it takes me a good 15, 20 minutes before I find something and settle with it. And last night I, you know, finally did it. It took me a little longer, 25 minutes. I was starting to get into it. And uh turns out the chick had a dick. And at that point I was far too committed. And, you know, I said, fuck it. And instead of going back to the drawing board, I just, you know, kept doing my thing. And, you know, I hate to say it, but I, I had probably the most explosive finish I can remember. Um, so explosive, I actually, you know, got a little bit up on my cheek and maybe even dribbled into my mouth a bit. Uh, my question for you is, is it gayer that I watch the tranny porn or is it gayer that I come to my old mouth? Um, looking forward to your advice. Thanks, man. Holy shit, man. Oh, my God. <clears throat> wow, dude. That was a journey. A lot of gay calls, man. Yeah. A lot of dudes coming out. That was similar to the last one, but like kind of a little bit more intense. Yeah, man. A lot of people have been talking about the whole like tranny porn thing. It seems yeah, pretty I mean, popular. It's there. Right now. I mean, you'll pop up. You you know, it's like an it's like a weird onion ring in the fry. I don't want to say weird, but yeah. it's an onion ring in the fries. But mm. you know, you're just like, oh yeah, bro. Today, man. Like, dude, I'm gonna be honest, man. Like, I've seen a lot of trans uh, women, mm -hmm. and I can't tell. Dude. Like I've seen many of them yeah. on the subway and stuff, yeah, and yeah. I have a very sure. hard time distinguishing Adam's apple. Was you like know, Adam's like apple. I could get kind of hard to that, yeah. But if I saw a cock, you know, yeah, you don't, yeah. I don't want to jack off to what I got, mm. you know. But I, I haven't tried yet, so that's the thing. <laughs> like we haven't, we haven't tried yet. You know, I don't know yeah. if you've tried, but I, I relate to. The fucking, like, taking a long time to find the video. Yeah. And I do stumble across sometimes where you're just like, whoa. Really? It's a dick. It just pop out? Well, it'll just be, you know, I mean, when you're in me and this guy's world, like, yeah. you'll just be, you'll be fucking, you got 25 tabs open. You don't know what's mm. going to pop up, you know? Yeah, I just feel like you'd notice from the title or something, you know what I mean? The ti But you know what's crazy? <clears throat> the, the dick pops out more than the words. Wow. Okay. The words confirm, like that you're seeing a dick. So it's kind of like a riddle, yeah. A little mystery box. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah. Except that it's it's there, you know, and they do say like trans or lady boy or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> you know. Yeah. I mean, I feel like a lot of these dudes. I don't know, man. I don't know how you like. Because I remember, like, I wanted to figure out if I was gay when I was younger, mm -hmm. and I just put on like broke back mountain dude and just started cranking one out, you know. <laughs> And I, I couldn't get hard, shit. dude. Like I, I wanted to get hard, but I... This was like last night, dude. <laughs> <clears throat> I've done just it like multiple it times. Okay. Just mentally, I'm like, I wonder if I could get a boner to this shit. Yeah, you know? yeah. And I, dude, like I'm trying. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like I'm like, dude, let's get this. Yeah. You know? You gotta let's towel. sign the paperwork, you know? Because <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's the only way you can really figure it out, dude. You know? Yeah. But I just never could, dude. Yeah. You know, I'm just in love with like titties, man. Yeah. <clears throat> I, yeah. There's nothing. I don't know. Like, it's weird how like they're talking about cocks and assholes. No one's ever talking about titties. What you do you know? mean? Like, if I saw like a trans man with like a nice set of titties, mm -hmm. I mean, I could probably get like a little chubbed up to that. I feel like titties, but it's like if I see a cock, they, they do have. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, yeah. like. If he was like, yeah, I saw this like trans woman's titties <laughs> yeah. and I blew one out. Yeah. That's one thing. But he's like, I saw a cock and I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't care anymore. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> maybe this guy's trans, dude. But yeah, maybe he is. 
Maybe he wants to switch over. Yeah, that's so interesting, though, man. Well, what's gayer, do you think? Do you think it's gayer to... Well, he, he posed an interesting question. I don't think coming on your face is that gay. Okay. No, it's straight. that's the straightest thing you can do. You Put know? that on your tombstone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that coming in your face is that gay. <laughs> you lived a beautiful life. <laughs> it's unlike my biography. No, I don't, I don't think that's that gay, man. I think jerking off to like a well, a it dick. could be unintentional. But then he said the the going into your mouth, I guess, was maybe he. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think seeing like whatever led to that is probably the gayest. So him seeing the cock, seeing a cock, yeah, is startling. And if you keep do going in, yeah, is and then that's like exciting mm. for you. Then that's like kind of like yeah. If it was be. the cock, I mean, if it was like the thrill of like mixing it up, yeah, I mean, that might be a little different, yeah. But he's just saying you saw a cock and lost it, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I don't know how that stuff works, man. That would be like a Brooklyn person question. What do you mean? Like the whole like if you jerk off to trans porn, like what are you? Because <sighs> technically uh, he's jerking off to a woman. Yeah, because trans women. So are it's actually women. not that gay. Yeah. It's just a chick with a dick. We really need like a mathematician. Yeah, <laughs> Not just we a, need like an equation or something, dude. Because yeah. <laughs> it's like you're jerking off to a woman, which isn't gay. Yeah. But she happens to have a cock. She happens. To have a cock. She just so happens. I would have to ask him if that chick had like a manufactured uh, roast beef sandwich. Yeah. Would he experience the same excitement? Okay. Or was it just the cock that got him going? Was it just, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, I don't know. It's, I think also the exhaustion of like finding the video. He was yeah. like, fuck it. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, like, Beyblades, let it rip. He's just <laughs> fucking sick of it, dude. It's like, it's two o'clock in the morning. I got yeah. 37 tabs open. If mm. I see a cock, whatever. Yeah. And then he just fucking jacked off into his own mouth. And now he's just confused every day. <laughs> <laughs> calls in from a Walmart parking lot. Yeah. I think I'm fucking gay. He's just in like a bunch of Reddit threads right now just trying to figure it out. That's so fucking funny, dude. Asking Siri. That's so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> All right, man. All right. Well, dude, thank you for coming, brother. Yeah, thanks for having me. This is um, great. Yeah, man, what's your Instagram? The Wandering Jew? Yeah, The Wandering Jew, man. And then uh, you got any shows coming up? Anything for the people? Um, yeah, I'm doing a couple shows and I'm doing one in Pennsylvania and fucking Tannerville, Pennsylvania. Fuck yeah, dude. Bordentown, New Jersey. I'm doing my friend's show and I don't know if it'll be out, but it's in Williamsburg on Thursday. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Wandering Jew, man. Fuck yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, I will be headlining for the first time ever, dude. Oh, wow. This Friday. In my homeland oh, of shit. Rhode Island. Hell yeah. Hopefully it's a movie, dude. But even if I bomb, it's going to be funny as it's fuck. It's going to be a movie. Yeah. <laughs> How much time be, are you doing? Uh, 30. Oh, shit. Yeah. So awesome. even if I bomb, dude, it'll be funny to just be like emotional about it. You know, you should be like, yeah, man, I went back to my hometown and bombed. Yeah. You know? But it'll be fun, man. If you're in the area, please, uh, please come support me. I'll put up the ticket link. And uh, yeah, man, thank you guys for listening as always.